in God's time. Yes. It's in God's time. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we want to make sure I know a lot of you all ask where we go into these different places. We can bring societal reform uh, um, uh, tour into any city that will or any ministry that will host us. All right. We, we want to team up with leaders. Yeah. All right. That want to go to another level. All right. In the revelation of understanding, amen, what God is saying in this season, even if your ministry have never been prophetic before, it's our responsibility as apostolic leaders to be able to go into these lead, these ministries mm -hmm. that have been on cor course or off course, if you would, for a while that is looking to go deeper into the things mm -hmm. of God. Amen. For us to just give us a call. Amen. Uh, um, let me give you our email address. Uh, it's Embassy Kim, E-M-B-A-S-S-Y. Somebody from Kim put that up there. Yes. Embassy Kim at gmail.com. All right. And, mm -hmm. and go ahead. No, I, I just want to 11 o'clock uh, also reemphasize. And I'm sure Apostle Isaac, you know, uh, can agree um, that that the, the, the purpose of even us <laughs> of even us um, uh, just sharing with you uh, societal reform. Mm -hmm. be, if it's passes, if it's passes on the scope, mm -hmm. you know, this is not an encouragement to you trying to get you to shift alliances or anything with, no. of that nature. No. This is trying to get you to shift your mindset into a broader way of thinking of what God is doing through yes. revelation yes. Uh, and building the kingdom. Yes. You, if you Baptist, fine. The Baptists hey. need this. Yes. Church of God in Christ, stay they Baptist need this. If you yeah. want to stay, Pastor, whatever you Come are. On, Pastor, but yes. you, but you need societal reform. Yes. Amen. To to further the kingdom yes in, yes in your sector yes 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 and some are asking um where, where we're located we are uh, located in naperville illinois amen we are inside of the hilton yes amen we are inside of the hilton in naperville illinois sundays at 11 o'clock amen um uh, for that for the ones that are asking okay amen. all right so again uh any questions toward it amen uh helping your church come out of the state of impotency all right. Mm -hmm. It's your responsibility to take this periscope and say, leader, pastor, prophet is apostle. You need to hear this. You need to hear this periscope. All right. Tag somebody in this periscope. All right. God bless you, Alonzo. God bless you. God bless, bless, you. You. bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. Tag somebody in it. We're out to be amen to, to, to assist in whatever way we can. Amen. Thank you all so very, very, very much. And before amen. I rush, because I know sometimes I speak faster than the feeds. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody, amen. And I think I saw Pastor Connie. God bless you, Pastor bless Connie. You. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, uh, is anybody, amen, with any final questions, amen, before we uh, log off? Is anything else you wanted? Because I know, amen, we were rushing through it thinking that we were almost out of town, <laughs> town, out of time. Yes. All right. So the Lord spoke to me this one final word that I want to release. Amen. He said, not only come, amen, to a place where, amen, you break the spirit of impotency over the, the church, over the body of Christ. He said, but also I want you to pray or come against the miscarrying womb of the church. Wow. Mm. The miscarriage. The miscarrying womb of a church. Mm. All right? The miscarrying womb of a church. What is the miscarrying womb of a church? The miscarrying womb of a church is that has sons in there. Mm -hmm. Amen. That miscarry them before they time. Yes. The miscarrying womb. We can't be effective until we bring every son into their full Come on. purpose or into their full identity. All right. Yes. Or they've yes. gone through the process the full time. We need to stop releasing sons too before soon. It's time. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to pray. Amen. For the miscarrying womb of the mm. church. Amen. We can't reproduce if every time we get something in us, we got to let it go. Come on. That goes both ways. Sons, if you're sitting up under ministries, amen, and they're pouring, they're imparting, they're yes. releasing yes. unto you, yes. amen, and then you become impregnated in the spirit with your identity, your purpose, and then all of a sudden, because of backlash, because of warfare, you you then begin to get in the state of miscarrying, where Come you're on. miscarrying everything that has been poured yes. into you. Yes. The devil is a liar. We are in a state where we need to reproduce. Come on. All right? Yes. All right. Amen. Go ahead. You know, and, and, and it's the same thing, uh, you know, when mm. the, the, just the the importance of mm -hmm. of someone being released too soon. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible tells us to make our calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of times, you know, we get out there too soon because you know we we allow we are, we listen to someone um, that that told us that 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 we had a calling on, on our life, mm -hmm. and we thought that because we had a calling that it was time to go. Mm -hmm. But there's been no training. You know, there there's mm -hmm. been you know nothing has been poured into you, mm -hmm. um, and and so because of that, but because you you got a word, you think it's time. It's not. 
And so, and this is why when I, when I look at, uh, you know, just the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the time that, that Paul spent with Timothy and making sure, you know, that he was equipped, that he was equipped and that he was ready. Mm -hmm. And he told him, okay, but now that you're ready, don't let nobody despise mm -hmm. where you are. Don't let they, if, if you're ready now, you've been trained, you've been mandated. Yes. I don't care if you are 20, 21, if that's, if, if you, if you've gone through the training, if you set through yes. what, what, what mm -hmm. the, um, uh, what the mandate was and, and, and your, your spiritual authority feels like, okay, now it's time, then it's time. Mm. And he said, let no man despise thy youth mm. because of what's on you. Mm. And see, God is going to equip us, amen, through individuals that he placed in our life. Yeah. And I look at even, even in, in, let me answer this one before ahead, you do. He said, what do you do if they won't cover you? You got mm. to be careful because I mean, any natural father or mother or father, amen. I, if you have a, if a child came from your loins, if you would spiritually, mm. you're not just going to reject that child and That's say, right. no, I'm not going to protect you. Amen. So that means something is wrong mm. with the DNA. Yes. There, something is yes. wrong. They're they not probably your spiritual father That's if they right. won't cover you. That's all right. right. And, and all jealousy right. and all of that. Yeah. yeah. If, if you, if you, if you're dealing with situations where, where yeah. the, the spiritual authority is jealous of what's on your life. No mother or father, then, true mother or no. father is jealous of their son. No. They want to see their they son see excel. Them do excel. Yes. You know, I, yes. yeah. Cause I, I, you know, we have a, a, a 27 and a 26 year and I tell them all the time. I want you to do greater, greater than yeah. me. Yeah. And that should be the mindset yeah. of any spiritual authority. Right. They ought to want to see you excel higher. Exactly. Because